welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft and this is Richard so today we are going to do a little project I have my foldable tub some Tide a Ziploc baggie and some socks and underwear now uh, I'm, I'm already anticipating people asking me how many times can you use the Ziploc baggie before you have to replace it? And I'm going to tell you right now, I do not know at this point because I have not done this extensively enough to know when it's time to change the bags. So I cannot tell you how long you can use this, but I guarantee that it'll work for more than one or two uh, washes. So again, uh, and as you've seen earlier, I did heat the water up that I'm going to be using. I uh, don't necessarily have to do that, but I did. So. There we go. We got the baggie. I have two pairs of socks. I think there's two pairs of socks and a, one pair of underwear in there. I think that's what's in there. Uh, I had to go ahead and throw my socks, my tabby socks from the dojo. Throw those in there today. I'm going to wash those as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some water. Just like that. Get just a smidge and a soap. Dump that in there. What I'm going to do, add a little more water. There we go. And there we go. Dump that in there in the baggie. Seal up my soap bottle. By the way, this did come from the Dollar Tree. And there we go. We got my, we're going to zip that up a little bit I'm gonna leave some air in there there we go got that nice and zip give it one little roll looks like I'm gonna to have to add some more water to this we're gonna add some more water heck with it. I'm just going to dump all of it in there. There we go. Zip that up. Boom. Roll it down. There we go. Oh yeah. And now we're just going to wash the clothes. Give it a little bit of a run like this. I'm going to take some of that air out. There we go. A little too much air. There we go. And uh, to be totally honest, this is the very first time I've ever done this. So I'm not sure, you know, I'm, I'll get better at it the more I do it. But you don't want to fill this baggie up too much. And like I said, this is just a, a Ziploc baggie. Uh, I also, uh, as I was talking about earlier, you can use the uh, plastic bags that you get from uh, the Dollar Tree. I'll probably do uh, do that later as well. But you can see, getting soapy in there, soapy water. And probably a little dirty too. So what I'm going to do is, just going to mush this around for 5 or 10 minutes and I'll get right back with you. I guess you don't really need to see me doing that so I'll get right back with you all right so yeah okay, that sounds like a washing machine try to get these things all mushed around and moved there we go Move all this stuff around a little bit. Of 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty empty everything out of this bag. I'm just going to dump it straight into this bucket. Look at that. Bring us out. Set this over here. Bring it out. Best I can here. Set it over here. And I'm going to do that with each one of these items here. My goodness. Oops. Looks like this one. There we go. out by hand just like this one more item here all right so now what I'm gonna do I can use a different bag if I wanted to, I guess, if I didn't want to do this process, but I'm going to pour a little bit of water into this bag here. Zip it up. A little roll here. And I'm just going to mush this around to get all the soap and stuff off of it. Is what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put some more water in this and I'm going to continue I'm going to continue with running it through one more time so I'm going to take this water I'm going to dump it into the bucket there we go alright now my items are going to go back into the baggie like so and now this isn't heated water I could use all this as hot water if I wanted to heat it especially if I had a campfire going I would heat all this water up but I don't have a campfire and I don't want to use my propane for this purpose so I'm just gonna throw some more water in here I'm gonna be pretty uh, generous with my water today only because I have complete access to more water and again, if I was out at camp and I had a, a lake or a pond or a creek or anything like that, I would be generous as well. And I'm just going to give it another, another roll here. And again, I'll get back with you when I get this done. All right. Now, again... I'll remove each one of these items and wring them out. And you can do this as many times as you want. Uh, if I was out in the woods, I would do this three or four times if necessary until I got uh, wringing out clean water out of them, or like crystal clear water. But I think right now this is good enough. Now I will be showing you this nasty water here in a minute, and yes it is nasty water. I made sure that the clothes that I was using were consistently in well used dirty laundry so that you could actually see how this is working. So I will stop after this just for the video's sake, but like I said before, I would do this two or three more times at least. If I was out in the woods, or if I was doing this 
without access to any other cleaning materials like a actual washing machine or something and there's the water look at that water that's the second rinse people that's just nasty so again nasty. I'm nasty yeah. you will do this uh, repeat it as often as you want or you feel necessary to repeat There we go. And then what you're going to do is we're just going to hang these out to dry. Now I do have the ability to hang things in here. So I'm going to hang these up real quick and I'll get right back with you. Now I have this little beam or whatever it is. It's a garage door rail. Yeah. But you can use cordage out in the woods. You can use tree limbs. You can use whatever you want. We're just going to set them there and let them dry. All right, so I have a small baggie, and again, you can use a bigger Ziploc baggie. You can use Dollar Tree uh, storage bags, which I do plan on doing that. They fold up so much better than that big four gallon bucket. Uh, water. Let's see, a gallon of water. I actually almost used a full gallon of water. There's what's left. You can see what's left. More than half a gallon. And uh, if I would have done this one or two more times, I would have used a complete gallon of water. But if I have complete access to water, it's not a big deal. If I didn't have the access to as much water, I, I wouldn't have used as much water. I did use my pan to heat the water, and this was pretty much full. I don't know how much this actually holds, but this was pretty much two quarts. Okay, she says this is two quarts. So I did use the two quarts of water that was hot. Dollar Tree uh, Tide laundry soap and very, very little laundry soap. And again, depending on what you really want, the thing is, is the more laundry soap you use, the more times you're going to have to rinse to get that stuff clean. Uh, again, if you're doing it in a creek and you don't use the baggie, you just go down to the creek, that's that's a different story. And my big old bucket with water, and I'm going to show you this nasty stuff here real quick, and I don't know, I'm somewhat kind of embarrassed to show it to you, but I'm going to do it anyway. No. You guys ready? Here we go. Here's the nasty so part. Gross. It's so gross. Look at this. <laughs> there you go. There's the water. That's pretty nasty water. Yeah, that, that's pretty nasty water. And that's just two, two cycles. I could have probably done that two more times easily. So anyway, that's a very, very simple and easy way to uh, clean your clothes when you're living the situation that my, my wife and I are living. Uh, I love it. I don't have any problems with it whatsoever. It takes a little bit of effort and it takes more time to do, but you know it's not a big deal and again if you're gonna do jeans or something like that you're gonna need a more sturdy plastic bag or you can go to the bucket and use the bucket if you want but like I said the baggie is just more efficient for me to use when there's an extreme amount of space issue or if we're actually completely 100 uh, percent hunter-gatherers and we're constantly moving there's no way I'm going to carry that bucket to do my laundry everywhere. Now granted it's useful for other things, but if I were to walk everywhere I went, I would not carry that bucket, plain and simple. But I will carry this plastic bag. So thank you very much for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard.